Where are you from in Wales? Just outside of Bristol. Hannah Clark celebrates her 94th birthday tomorrow. The vaccine means she can look forward to a much more hopeful year ahead. Hannah, have you been afraid not only for yourself but for the safety of your friends? Well, yes, I have. Wonder where they're going, what they're doing. Um, hope they don't go anywhere where it is. And as yet, touch wood, I've been quite lucky. Nobody that I know has had it. But it's terrible stories of people that have had it. And the vaccine will change all of that? Well, I hope they do. Well, if it only changes two bits of it, it's two bits less, isn't it? And if a vaccine keeps it out, good for all of us. It's been really difficult for the residents of the Meadows residential care home. No hugs, no cuddles from loved ones. It's right that they've said that care homes will be one of the priority groups, and I think that is right, because of the number and the thousands of people who have unfortunately died in care homes uh, up and down the country. Uh, we're lucky we haven't had any death in here, we never had the virus in here, but it is right that they should be vaccinated. The government wants to protect the most vulnerable from COVID-19 before anyone else. But getting the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine into care homes is going to be almost impossible. In the vaccination rollout's first phase, care home residents and their carers are the top priority. Next on the list are people aged 80 and over and frontline health and social care workers. Some NHS workers will have higher priority than others, depending on their roles. The list is then prioritised according to age and clinical vulnerability. This is the wish list, but delivering it will pose problems for the government. And today they said that over 80s and care home staff may be first with care home residents having to wait. Here's why. The vaccine needs to be stored at a minimum of minus 70 degrees Celsius. Over 50 hospital sites in England have been identified as hubs. The vaccine can be only transported four times because of the MHRA licence and three moves are needed to get it to storage hubs in Britain. So the last move needs to happen just before the vaccine is administered. The vaccine comes in batches of 975, which means potential waste if care homes, which typically have dozens of residents, receive one batch each. We know the NHS will take delivery of 800,000 vials of the vaccine in the coming days. That's enough for 400,000 people. And the MHRA is still considering two other vaccines, one by Moderna and the other from Oxford AstraZeneca, which do not require extreme cold storage temperatures, making distribution easier. Some medical staff are being readied to receive the vaccine. This means that staff working in the highest risk areas, along with us, those staff who are themselves deemed to be at high risk, for example, shielding and BAME staff would be the first to receive the vaccine. Those in critical care roles are likely to be first. I'm over 60, so therefore I'm as an age group who has had less contact with patients who've had COVID-19 than some of my colleagues. And so what it means is I can go back to doing my job in a more normal way because I will be to some extent, not completely, but to some extent protected. It's unlikely the vaccine will reach the Meadows care home soon. The residents here will have to wait until a way is found. Gilbert, what does a vaccine mean for you? Well, I hope it will extend my life a little more. <laughs> extend my life. Mm. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.